What's up everyone? So today I'll be showing you how to change the oil in my 2011 Genesis Scoop 3.8. This is the same for other first generations and maybe similar on the second generation as well. You can see I've already got it up on blocks. The oil filter is down below so I have to remove the skid plate to get to that. Other than that it's a pretty simple install. Hope you guys enjoy it. So the first step in this process we're going to go ahead and remove the second skid plate here. The oil filter is right under here. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and remove these uh, four screws on this one to get to the oil filter. Okay, so there are actually six screws in this. There were two far in the back here that I didn't see. And then with all six of those out, you're able to drop it and gain access. And with all those screws removed, we'll go ahead and remove the skid plate. And you can see where the oil filter is up in there. We'll go ahead and remove that. So this oil filter is a cartridge design, so it's a little bit different, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use this wrench here to loosen it up, and then we'll slowly work its way out. And with the oil filter removed, we'll go ahead and remove the oil drain plug. Now we'll go ahead and let that all drain. Like I said before, this oil filter is the cartridge style, so we just need to pull this one out. There's a tab in there that it gets stuck on, and then that's easily removable. We'll go ahead and clean that up a little bit. With the K&N oil filter out, we'll be putting in a Purolator. Looks very similar. The K&N was out of stock. This one looks like a very good quality. We'll go ahead and just Clamp it back into place there, and then it's ready for the install. And I'm just finishing up cleaning off any oil drips inside there. And then the reinstall. Since this is a plastic unit, you don't want to tighten it down too tight. You want to make sure that there is contact here. Um, and then just a nice snug, that's probably good right there. And we already have the drain plug in, so now it's time to fill it up with oil. So I'll be putting in 5W30. Car takes about five quarts, so we'll go ahead and pour in the new oil. So the skid plate's back on now. We ran the engine for a little bit. Five quarts came out, five went in, so everything looked good. We checked the dipstick. The level on that was okay as well. So everything went well, nice, easy maintenance that you can do to your own vehicle. So I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, browse our channel for other automotive videos, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Instagram. And I'll see you guys next video.